Last week, the idea of potential Qatari takeover of Manchester United was only ever linked to a minority investment. I warned against it, did a separate video entirely on that. Whereas in the last week, we've heard rumours of Emir Al Thani wanting to buy Manchester United, that Qatar are going to come forward with a bid. And here we are with breaking news coming out from Bloomberg that says that that bid is coming in these next couple of days. I'm going to bring you this big update on Qatar, on their potential takeover of Manchester United and what it means in the structure of that deal. It's a big thing and a big complication behind anything to do with Qatar and possibly only Man United. So make sure you do subscribe. I'm going to be covering this in as much detail as I possibly can this week. It's going to be wild. Let's run through this article. This is breaking news right now, coming from Bloomberg. And they're saying that Qatar is preparing that bid for Manchester United, and they use the word imminent. Let's read through the article. Qatar investors are set to make an offer for Manchester United in the coming days, people familiar with the matter said, in a move that would cement the country's desire to become a major player in global sports. The Qatari consortium is preparing to submit an initial bid for United by the end of the week. Officials at Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Qatar Investment Authority, are helping with preparations for a bid alongside local family offices, one of the people said, asking not to be identified. Rain Group is advising United, sorry, is advising United's owners, the Glazers, that's a really convoluted sentence there. United has been the subject of an increasing takeover speculation since the summer. So far, right now, it's only Jim Ratcliffe and any else that have come forward, but Qatar is coming. There's more to this article as well. Qatar Sports Investment, a separate entity, already owns PSG. Regulations we know. Stop PSG. So stop Qatar Sports Investment and Qatar owning two clubs. Damn, this is complicated to cover. It really is. Anyway, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the ruling emir of Qatar, is a United fan and unlikely to want to let slip the chance, nice use of slip, to own what is widely regarded as one of the world's biggest sports brands. Deliberations are ongoing and no final decisions have been taken about which Qatari entities will ultimately provide capital for the United bid, the, uh, the people said. A spokesperson Spokesperson for QIA declined to comment while a representative for QSI wasn't immediately available for comment. QSI, QIA, KSI, MIA, all sorts of other fucking acronyms and names. Qatar and a bid for Manchester United coming out of Qatar. Let's summarize what that article said there. First and foremost, is the interesting point here is the fact that the Qatar Investment Authority are helping with preparations. Now, the Qatar Investment Authority... Ultimately, Qatar, they've got billions. The ruling family, what, 335 billion, I think their wealth is? They've got dough. They've got money left, right and centre. The Qatar Investment Authority is their way of investing that money outside of Qatar. That's what they use. They use Qatar sports investment to invest in sports teams. That's where the ownership of PSG comes from. That's where the complications of any sort of Qatari takeover of Manchester United lie in where the funds would come from. Now, the point that was made down there, right now, the deliberations are ongoing and no final decisions have been taken about which Qatari entities will ultimately provide the capital. But I think the one thing that we can say with absolute certainty here, maybe not absolute certainty, that would be a, bit, a little bit strong, but it feels like the Emir um, Al Thani is really pushing this. And ultimately... He is the one in control of that country and he controls what happens with that country's wealth. Now, I will be covering everything to do with the Qatari bid and the questions that it would pose to Manchester United fans because we have a responsibility to discuss everything openly and scrutinise everything in the exact same way. I've scrutinised Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos and his ownership of Nice. I've scrutinised Dubai and any potential takeover for Dubai and I will do the exact same thing for Qatar. But the update here and the big update from Bloomberg is that Qatar Investment Authority is currently, as I said, they are helping with the preparations for the bid. Because I think this is an important part. The If we go over to look at what happened with Red Bull Salzburg and Red Bull Leipzig, I've said this is a very important precedent. Because what this effectively shows any potential Qatari investors is that, right, okay, so you're telling me that Salzburg and Leipzig can play in the same competition together. How did they do that? What was the structure that they that they used? Okay, there's precedent there. We can use that and apply that to this situation. So if they're going to be going through the Qatar Investment Authority, it means, by the looks of it, Qatar Sports 
oh, it's Qatar Sports Investment. I can't wait until this is over so I don't have to keep messing this all up. They won't be involved. It will be a separate, as far as Qatar goes and as far as how they think they can represent it, they are going to try and separate the two things. It's an important aspect that we've been waiting for updates on. But the interesting part down there at the very, very bottom is that deliberations are ongoing. And right now, they don't know exactly where the funds are coming from, right? None of us are stupid. We know where the funds are coming from. They're coming from the very top. How they are represented in the books and, and under what arm of Qatar, whether it's Qatar Investment Authority or Qatar Sport, it's all from Qatar. It's all from the state. Ultimately, we have to have conversations about that as United fans. But I knew this was going to be a, a crazy week. Look, we're, we're here talking. Last week, nobody would have entertained the idea of any potential takeover of Manchester United by Qatari investment. And nobody would have entertained the idea of Elon Musk coming back in. Mike Keegan there, who has been leading with the uh, Qatar story, is now hinting. I mean, surely not. I mean, as long as Elon approaches United in a slightly different way to how he approached uh, Twitter, then maybe we could have a conversation. But it feels like it's this is being pushed. Look, there's no doubt, right, that Qatar, they want to be involved in everything when it comes to football. They have spent how many billions on PSG since they bought them? I have no idea. They still haven't managed to win the Champions League. They spent 200 billion on hosting the World Cup, on building an entire infrastructure to host the World Cup. And now, Emir Althani, it looks like he is pushing for this Qatari bid to come in, with Bloomberg Business saying that that is imminent, that it will come in. So that's so, look, in terms of the, the schedule of what we expect to be happening this week, that soft deadline, and by that soft deadline means that if a bid doesn't come in by Friday, it doesn't mean that it can't come in. I'm sure that if there were, was another billion billionaire coming in and offering United, we'd be like, okay, well, in he comes. But that deadline has been set because Manchester United ultimately want the sale by the end of Q1. End of March, that's when Manchester United want the sale. Now, we actually saw separate reports in the Manchester Evening News today suggesting that Joel and Avram Glazer are still trying to find ways of buying out their siblings and maintaining control over United. They tried that in the summer. They went to Apollo Investment. We thought that they were looking maybe for infrastructure investment and opportunities there. No, they were just looking at buying their fucking brothers and sisters out because they are snakes. They are absolute snakes. And they really are crap businessmen. If you're, a, you're not going to give them, those two dudes billions to hold on to United. No. And if you're Qatar, you're trying to figure out what that structure is. And by the looks of it, it's going to be going through the Qatar Investment Authority. As uh, Bloomberg has said down there, in terms of the who is ultimately going to provide that capital, we don't quite know. But it can't come from Qatar Sports Investment because it would clash and break UEFA's rules. But I don't know whether that can come personally from Emir Althani and whether that would then breach the rules. Ultimately, this, is, this feels like it's going to be, is there going to be a loophole? They're going to find their way. If Qatar want to put in a bid for Manchester United, they will find a way. And as I said, the precedent of RB Salzburg and Leipzig both playing in the same UEFA competition has is right there. It shows Qatar that if you structure it correctly, you can do it, no matter what the rules of UEFA say. And that's why we're sitting here and we're on the verge of getting a huge bid for Manchester United from Qatar. As I've said, all this way through, I will cover and scrutinise every single element of any Qatari bid, just in the same way I've done with Dubai, same way I've done with uh, Jim Ratcliffe and Apple and everything else. And, and I will continue to do so. But this is the breaking news that the bid is going in. We still don't know exactly where that fund is coming from, but it's going to be going through the QIA. In terms of the names of the individuals, well, we're still waiting for that. Will it be Althani directly? Would it be relatives of his? Oh, I don't really know. What sort of rules does that it's all a confusing and complicated situation, but there are many, many interested parties in Qatari investment. The bid is coming for United. I really want you to let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But look, maybe if you were going to chew a comparison, who would you rather have? Elon Musk or Qatar? Is that a question to do? Jim Ratcliffe, Ineos? There's probably going to be some Saudi interest too. This week's going to be wild. It really is.